Hello folks, this is Paul with Online Business Pro Solutions and today we're going to talk about PLR, private label rights. Specifically, how and where you can find the best PLR that's available online today. Now, when I make a video, I do two different types of keyword search. Of course, we have to please the almighty search engines, their algorithms, but more important at least to me, is I want to know what you really want to know. I want to know what people are asking. So this particular website, AlsoAsk.com, it has its own algorithm and it searches forums and social media groups and that's exactly what it does. It takes what everybody's asking and it breaks it down into subsets of each other. So it's, it spits it out in a really beautiful mind map <clears throat> so you can take a very generic topic and it breaks it down further and further and further down to key topics that people are very interested in. So if you're looking for long tail keywords, it's an awesome tool. I'm going to leave a link in the section below this video. I do yourself a favor, check that out. It's really good. But anyhow, I plugged in PLR and what came out is what is the best PLR membership site? You know, when it came to resources, that seemed to be the primary question people were asking. So I'm going to take this a step further with this video, and I'm recommending today what I feel are the top seven PLR resources available to you. Um, but it does include two of the best PLR membership sites, in my opinion. Now, if you aren't sure what PLR, or private label rights, is, then I highly suggest you check out my link at the end of this video. I also have the link down below in the description area. And it's for my first video in this PLR series. And it's aptly entitled, What is PLR? And Do You Need It? Now, as a spoiler alert, I really don't think PLR is a great idea for people who are just getting started out or actually for those who have been trying and getting limited results okay but I am going against the crowd I'm going against the consensus but you have to understand PLR marketers are specifically targeting newbies why because one at this point you don't know what you need and what you don't need so it's a little hard for you to argue when they give you all these these credible sounding reasons why you should have it. Two, because generally speaking, especially when you first start out in this business, you're expecting it to be easy and you're looking to get things going really fast and they're offering you a massive shortcut. Okay, it all sounds great, but it really, really isn't. Now, for those of you who want to know why I believe PLR is bad for your business, especially when you're first starting out, please click on the link I provide at the end of this video. It's entitled, Why PLR is Bad for Startups. Not only am I going to help you avoid a potentially serious roadblock to your success, but I'm also going to recommend, at that time, a better alternative to help you start generating that much-needed list. Now, for those of you who are bound and determined to use PLR anyway, I at least want to make sure that you do it the right way. So today, we're going to discuss where you can find the best PLR, and in subsequent videos, I'm going to show you how to create targeted, high-quality content and digital videos using that PLR. But first, if you'll kindly indulge me, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, but most important, subscribe. And definitely ring that bell, because I'm going to be uploading a whole series of videos, such as this series on PLR, and on all types of hot topics that are going to help propel you to that success that has previously eluded you. So it is absolutely critical that you jump on each video just as soon as it's uploaded and take positive action toward your online business success. Now, if you're ready for a massive jump start, do yourself a flavor. <laughs> a flavor? <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> I prefer chocolate. 
Uh, but do yourself a favor, click on the link below that says Online Business Pro Solutions, and you're going to get free access to the action plan that I use, the blueprint for my online success. All right, let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, now, before I reveal what I recommend for your seven best PLR resources, you have to understand that that's in my opinion. Okay, it's based on my experiences. It's based on what I have used, what little time that I've used PLR, because you have to remember, I'm not a big fan of PLR. But what I have used and what I've used to actually make money from, that's what I'm going to be recommending to you. Now, you can ask 50 different people and they could come up with an entirely different list. So understand that just because these are my best seven, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be the absolute best seven for you. So I think it's critical that you learn what to look for yourself when you're looking for quality PLR or private, private label rights material. So basically it's all these things that you're looking at right here, maximum licensing rights, authentic, and that it's provided by an expert, it's relevant, timely, up to date, multiple source types and cost effective. We're going to get into each one. I'll break them down very quickly, but you want to keep notes on this. These are the things that you're looking for when you are looking for good quality PLR. All right. The first, uh, it's almost a no-brainer, but I still think it needs to be mentioned. <clears throat> what, on what you're really buying, you're buying rights as to what you can do with this material that someone else is providing. It's their material. They're telling you what you can and can't do with, with it. It's as simple as that. So you want as many rights as possible. I mean, ultimately, you want to be able to change it at will. You want to be able to put your own name on it. You want to be able to give it away. You want to be able to sell it for whatever you want. You want to add it to membership sites, whether they're uh, for profit or not. Um, uses bonuses. And the list goes on and on. Now, the odds are you're not going to get all those things. Okay, but what you're looking for is the majority. And there may be times when you could care less. Um, maybe you found something and all you really want to do is resell it as theirs because you really like the creator. And so you just want to have the opportunity to market it and introduce it. Um, at that point, you're not as concerned about being able to change anything or co-brand or whatever. So, ultimately, though, you want as much as you can get when it comes to rights. Definitely, definitely, you always want to look for exclusivity, which is hard to find. There are people that do offer products like the first 50 and then that's it, or the fifth two, first 200 or that's it. Now, it tends to be a little more expensive. Uh, but it tends to be worth it, especially if you're going to use, and I think this is a bad idea, but if you're going to use that concept to just create a new cover and send it out there. Now you're only competing with up to 200 people as opposed to literally tens of thousands for the same material. The next one, you want this product to be written from someone who actually knows what they're talking about. There are, I guess, what you might call PLR mills, you know, where they just have writers. All they're doing is what you would do, you know, if, if you don't have any experience in the subject matter that you're talking about. They're just doing Google research and putting together a mishmash of what everybody else is writing. Um, that really doesn't work very well. Um, in order for it to be authentic, it really needs to be from someone who's actually done it, been there, seen it. I think you understand that quite well. With if you're if you're working with an autoresponder, you know the struggles that you dealt with trying the learning curve. You know some of the tricks now that you can do. You know some of the workarounds. Uh, you know it works. You know it doesn't work. When you first started, you didn't know a thing. 
so for somebody just from the outside to try and explain to you how to use uh, say get response or aweb or auto responders and they've never used one you're not going to get very good information so you really want to make sure that the material you're getting at the very least if you go to some of the better membership sites the better plr houses even though it's not the product creators themselves they usually have teams of people and within those teams of people they have people who they have expertise in say the internet marketing world or they have expertise in the uh, weight loss world or whatever so they do have a better background uh, a little more authority when it comes to what they're writing about it has to be relevant whatever niche that you're marketing to it needs to be relevant to that niche first of all but also in context whatever it is you want to get across whatever your message is the material that you use has to be relevant it has to support that um, the same as when you use material for bonuses uh, a lot of times that's what people will use um, PLR for so you don't want to be marketing to the internet marketing niche and then throw in uh, 10 ways to lose weight you know or how to lose 10 pounds in a month one they're probably going to be like or what are you trying to tell me <laughs> you know, like, excuse me <laughs> but it, it just doesn't make sense it's not relevant okay so the material needs to be relevant for the subject that you're dealing with and for the context with you know within which you want them to to get to understand okay now once again I think this is a no-brainer but it's amazing how much PLR out there if you look um, they're still talking about you know AOL emails and things of that nature which they possibly exist I honestly don't know that's been a long long time ago since I dealt with AOL but you don't want PLR from 2008 now every now and then there's a timely subject um, there are say time management there are recommendations from the 1800s that are still relevant today that's still because uh, it's an evergreen concept and subject but when you're dealing with something like making money online when you're dealing with internet marketing you know how rapidly technologies change um, you really need to make sure that the material is up to date and trending multiple source types and what this is this is true for content that you create whether it be through PLR or not but you want to get as much bang for your buck as you can so you can take text a text product and you can create an audio product and you can also create a video product you can take a video product and create an audio product and a text product you know and it just the list keeps going you can then turn those into membership um, sites and uh, materials for webinars you name it there's so many things you can do when you buy and purchase PLR if they're giving you the right to make alterations they provide sources source files if you're buying a text PLR generally speaking they're going to give you the doc you know period doc doc files and then there are the word files that way you can make changes to them um, what you want is as many as possible if you can get wave files if you can get mp4 files you name it you're looking for the more the better there's just less work that you have to do and all these sort of come together really um, but at the end of the day you want it to be cost effective um, to me it's worth it to pay more for good quality PLR but you have to do something with it 
it, it really means nothing if you just keep buying things like I have the history of doing. <laughs> so I, I have spent thousands of dollars on PLR and I've really used virtually none of it. Um, so it sort of do as I say, not as I do. But at the end of the day, everything you do, every purchase that you make, if you can't spin that into effective income, then it really isn't worth it. So you need to be analyzing as you go whether or not you're actually making money from the products that you're purchasing. Um, and now sometimes that's not the product's fault. Sometimes that's the fact that you haven't opened the product, you haven't tried the product, you've done nothing with it. So that's sort of a combination. But is the PLR really cost effective? And generally speaking, I don't, for me, it's not because I spend so much time analyzing the PLR, uh, not liking it, re-editing it, re-researching everything. I might as well have just started from scratch. That's me. It's not necessarily you. But you do need to be looking at this very seriously. And don't just think because something's only $10. And think, well, see, it's worth it. It's only $10 and I get thousands and thousands of articles and this and that but if they're not worth anything you just threw ten dollars away you might be better off to spend three hundred dollars on something that you're actually going to be able to convert and turn into multiple thousands of dollars all right we're going to move right on ahead here we go come the fanfare seven best plr resources all right, here we are at the meat of the nut here. I'm going to go over these, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about why I feel they're good sources, great resources, actually, if, indeed, you're going to use PLR. Uh, and, but I'll also try and show you some examples. First and foremost, I uh, mentioned earlier, one of the things you're looking for is that the material's coming from experts. Um, it's authentic material. Um, it has some true authority, not just some illusion of authority. Uh, the best PLR is to come from product creators. Now, some product creators, and I actually recommend you do the same thing, if you have products that are easily adaptable to PLR, I would personally offer the PLR rights for those products too. Um, Contrary to what it may sound like, that won't become competition. It will actually benefit you in the long run. That, that's a story for another day. But a very good source for quality PLR tends to be from product creators. Who knows the product better than them? Who knows how to explain it, how it works, why it works, what it can do for people? So this is just a list of some of the people that I've actually purchased uh, PLR from and used to some degree uh, that actually created their own products. So it's just something to look for. If you have specific product creators out there that you like, they may not just outrightly offer the product with any kind of a re resale rights or any kind of a PLR rights. It's as simple as an email. All, the worst they can do is say no. Send them an email, explain what you'd like to do, what rights you're actually looking for, what you would like to do with the content, and you never know, there's a good chance they may offer to sell it to you. Now, if there's good quality newsletters, uh, they're a great source just because they cover some of the bases when it comes to what's relevant and what's timely. You sort of normally have that covered as, as long as they're quality newsletters. And it's great because what I like about newsletters is it informs me also. Because I don't always keep up with the times any more than anyone else. You get busy, you get, you get working on several different projects at once, you sort of forget to look at what else is going on out there and around you. And newsletters are a great source to say, hey, you know, check this out. This is going on now, or this is trending now. And you're like, oh, Lord, I didn't even know that. 
newsletters can be a great, great source. I am, and all of this, I'm going to be providing uh, links down below for you, but um, I am definitely leaving you a link for this. I would, I would want you to take note of this one in particular, the Internet Marketing Newsletter by Nick Fahey. He's been in the business for a long, long, long time. He's very good at what he does. And I actually uh, have subscribed to this newsletter. It is excellent. Like I said, I don't necessarily use a lot of it, although I am in the process of using some, but it's just great information. I mean, it, it, you know, I read it. Like in the mornings when I'm drinking coffee and having some breakfast, I read through this and I'm just like, oh man, I didn't know that was going on. So this is really excellent and I'm going to show you a copy here in just a second. Here you go. There's a good looking guy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, this is actually a copy of one of the issues of that particular newsletter that I'm talking to you about. And they have all different types of information in here. You know, they have basically an introduction. And then they just have a lot of little blurbs about things that are going on, you know, social media, anything that's going on regarding the internet. Definitely subjects that are related to internet marketing. They have all kinds of articles. I'm telling you, this is just a wealth of information, even if you just use it simply to get ideas for products, for topics, you know, for content yourself. You don't have to use any of this if you don't want to, but you can, it'll springboard ideas for you to create your own. This is well worth the money. And with the discounts and that that they give you, you know, it comes out to around 20 bucks a month, basically. And I personally feel it's, it's worth every penny. Now, something else that they provide with this is they also have PLR podcasts where they do interviews of like the people, like when you see the person on a front cover, generally it'll be an interview with that individual and you can use those audio files also. So, a lot of bang for your buck. This, I think, is really well worth it. So, I am leaving the links. Um, also, be aware, I have access to be an affiliate for this, but I'm not an affiliate for this. All of these products that I'm recommending to you, I am not marketing at all. Not because they're not worth marketing. I just don't want you feeling like... I'm just trying to convince you to purchase something that I'm making money from. <laughs> now, down the road, that will happen at some point in time. There are products that I think it is well worth your time uh, and money to invest in. Uh, but you'll always know that right up front. Okay. Next on my list is checklists. Checklists are excellent lead magnets. People love checklists. Checklists are very handy. Um, they help people keep track of where they've been, where they're going, you know, what they've forgotten. Um, depending on the versatility of the checklist, there's a lot of information that you can impart. One single checklist, if it's handled right, can literally be an entire training curriculum. So I am actually at the end of this particular uh, video, I'm going to provide a link for a review that I've done on a product that allows you to provide checklists, good quality checklists uh, to your followers. And I'm telling you, it's to me, it's better than purchasing PLR. But you can actually combine these two if you really want to. And I'm going to show you in just a moment PLR checklists that are available to you. And I also subscribe to these. They're very well done. Kevin Fahey, he's actually, you might notice, both he and Nick James were both in my list of product creators that I use also. So checklists are a fantastic tool. 
Okay, let me jump on over and show you what I'm talking about regarding Kevin Fahey's IM checklist. Okay, I think this is a good example because it's for newbie marketers. If you sign up for this program, you get access to, it depends a little bit on, on what you purchase and what membership that you purchase, um, you get access to all these different checklists. He gives a brief introduction. And then basically, this is this particular one's for newbie marketers. You know, he goes over website and domain setup, business branding, WordPress setup, email marketing setup, landing pages, uh, thank you pages, tracking setup, social media, yada, yada, yada. Covers a lot of ground. And then if you open one of these up, let's go, yeah, let's see, take a look at a checklist for landing pages. Okay. This is something like what you would be providing to your clients. Okay. But now the thing is when you get this PLR, of course, there's going to be rules as to how you can use it, what you can do with it. You can't like sell this outright just as is. Uh, but what I've seen a lot of good product creators do is take this and convert these checklists into excellent video tutorials. Because he's giving you the step-by-step -step layout. He's giving you the whole process. Um, you could do, you could pretty much make a living just off of the videos that you produce, you know, based on these. So, you know, it takes you through, install and activate, optimize, press plug-in or theme first, you know, click on optimize, press and create new page, blah, 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 blah. And, and some of these he's recommend, he's already recommending certain products, you know, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. And that's why you would need to change some of these things around if you're talking about specific uh, page builders, things of that nature. But it steps you through and people can check these things off and people love these. See, he goes into one setting up for Thrive Themes and Thrive Architect. That's pretty neat. Now, I don't want to get too far into it, but on the product that I'm going to mention to you, not only can you have checklists, but you can also have boxes that drop down where you could provide video instruction and or written instruction. So you could break these down even further. So products like this are awesome PLR because there's so much that you can do with it. But once again, you still want to make sure that they pass all the other tests that we talked about. Just because it's checklist doesn't mean it's good. It You need to know and do some due diligence and research on the product creator itself. In this case, Kevin Fahey is really above board. He's a good product creator, in my opinion. Okay, now, as far as like a PLR store, it's not necessarily a membership site per se, but a PLR store, I guess is what I'm calling it. Um, one of the best out there that I really like is Tiffany Lambert. She's been doing this for 20 plus years. She's very good at what she does. She doesn't try to pull the wool over your eyes. She lets you know right up front, you know, that there's a lot of other people are buying this, but the content that she produces is top notch, really good quality material. Um, you have to remember at the end of the day, I, I'm trying to convince you all do not just take this material and, and, redesign the e cover or whatever and and market it like it's your own but if you're going to have a foundation for good quality material material from tiffany lambert is excellent i'm going to go ahead and take you to her website right now okay when you go to plrminimart.com it's going to take you to this website and tiffany's company is called ready-made content by Wright Consultants, our actual company is Wright Consultants. Okay, this is Tiffany here. Very prolific writer. Um, pretty simple. 
easy to see, easy to move around in this, what all the products are. They're all evenly priced. Um, she writes, the only rules I have here are that you can't pass along usage rights to others. They can read it, that's all. So she doesn't sell rights where you can sell, you know, the rights themselves, like master reseller rights. And that's really, she, she really doesn't have a whole lot of restrictions. And I like that. She covers all kinds of subjects. It's not just internet marketing. So this is one where, depending on what niche market you're looking for, I'm talking mostly about making money online, but there are other people out there who are looking at other products and projects. Um, there's just about anything and everything here for you. Oh, uh, let's take a look here. Da, da, da. I'm just looking under bundles. Yeah, they've got online dating, extra holiday cash, growing younger, diet, Christmas gift, wealth building, newbie internet marketing plans. $43, you get six reports that cover newbie fundamentals for internet marketing career. Let's just take a look at this. Okay, and then she goes into Plan number one is building a profitable niche market. It's nine pages, 2,761 words in length. Here's everything that it covers. So she gives you all the information there, breakdown. So you see before you get it pretty much, you know, what you're going to get. You got a pretty good idea of the breakdown, how many words. Now, these, even though they're called reports, to me, these are like really big articles. So they'd be great, you know, web pages because... Yeah, uh, really 2,500 to 4,000 words seems to be the optimum anymore for blog sites, if that's what you're going to use them for. Okay, so I'm going to show you here, see if I can find out, because I, just to prove, man of my word, that I have purchased some stuff. I had a an e-commerce store called uh, survivalgearsolutions.com, and I liked for, to provide a lot of content, you know, to draw traffic. So I don't know if you're acquainted at all with bugging out, but in emergency situations, uh, people who want to prepare, they set up bug out plans and bug out packs and things of that nature. That's basically how they prepare for emergency situations. I went ahead and purchased this article from her. Let me see. I'm going to just go through it and see if I can find it. Grab it. Okay. Here you go. You're watching this real time. <laughs> Open it up. Okay. I think I actually used this as an example on one of my other articles one time but da, da, da. if you'll see somewhere in here here's PLR rights these are the rights that she offers um, she only has two rules don't use her name on it don't pass along anything other than read only rights meaning you can't resell the PLR or turn it into resell rights products so she lets you know right up front so if you are looking for those things then this would not necessarily be the right forum for you or platform for you But, I mean, there's miracle articles in here. Just open one up. Now, I have a strong background in survival from the military. I'm not necessarily a prepper per se, but I am somewhat like the Boy Scout Scouts, always prepared. This material was really good. Her material is really good. Now, these aren't enough words to me to make a full article. If you're going to do a blog post, you would want to probably combine several. Um, but there are enough on that paperwork to put together a lot of, a lot of web pages and blog posts. I use this more for marketing. So these are very short articles and I wanted short articles. They were just to drive traffic to my store. Okay, so it worked wonderfully. Um, I was able to actually 
you know, prove to myself, you know, that I was making money from this. So it was well worth the money. I mean, it cost me seven dollars you know, for this. So at that point, I'd say, yes, that's cost effective. And I did actually use it. All right, we're going to jump on ahead. OK, here's another what I would call PLR store that I use uh, frequently. And it's called Piggy Makes Bank. Gotta love the name. <laughs> so this one's a little confusing in the sense that they mention memberships a lot, but um, it's not quite like a normal membership site. I mean, a lot of products you buy automatically make you a member for life. So it's not like you're necessarily paying like $17 a month or $29.99 a month to belong. Um, you're sort of grandfathered in as a member when you buy certain products. So I just didn't want to confuse the issue between that and sites that you have to pay so much per month. Okay. We're going to go ahead and jump right onto that site now. Okay. And this is basically like what is considered to be the members area. If you have purchased products from them, you'll see all the different products that you have, but I'm going to jump into right now. And these are the owners here of the company. All right, this gives you an idea of some of the products that are out there, what they're offering. And each one of them gives you an opportunity to see the full sales page before you purchase. Pretty big list. Once again, I like the quality of the content that they provide. Personal preferences. Uh, let's look at one here. Let's look at business productivity for profits. Just take a look and see. All right, the business productivity for profits PLR bundle. So they're going to tell you, they give you a short report, 10 autoresponder emails, 10 PLR articles, plus checklist and an e-cover for business productivity for profits. And they go through and they show you everything that they're giving you, including some examples. So you can read through them. Always read through some of the PLR. If they don't offer it, write them, ask them if you can see some examples and some samples. Know what you're buying before you purchase it. Don't just buy it because I'm saying they're good ones to go through. Um, I've had good results from the ones that I'm recommending. Uh, maybe I got lucky, you know, so do your own re research and do your own due diligence. Let's take a look and see under frequently asked questions that they're going to show us. There they go. Here are the rights that they grant you. Quite a few. Yes, they can be edited completely. You can put your name on it. It can be used as web content. It can be broken down to small, smaller articles. It can be added to an e-course or autoresponder. It can be added to an e-book or PDF. It can be given away. It can be packaged. It can be offered as a bonus. It can be added to free membership sites. It can be added to paid membership sites. Claim full authorship. You can add it to paid and or free membership sites. It can be broken down in articles, be packaged with other products, offered as a free bonus, given away for free. Um, you can't submit it to article directories. Okay, that makes sense. It can't be used in Kindle books. Um, we can't sell it with PLR rights. We can't offer master resale rights and it can't be offered through auction sites. But man, when you're asking for a lot, a bang for your buck when it comes to rights, that's a bunch right there. Okay. And similar, similarly, um, with Tiffany Lambert, she didn't break it all down, but because she only has two exclusions, it's similar. So that's what I'm looking for. When I tell you at the beginning, the things that you're looking for material from experts are people that use experts for their writing, um, uh, material, um, that you have a lot of rights for that. Those are the things, these recommendations I'm making, do you cover these bases? Okay. So, those are things you want to look for. We're going to go ahead and jump on into the next recommendation. Next on my list of seven PLR resources is Resell Rights Weekly. This is a membership site. Um, I, I actually belong to this just because it is so prolific. They give so much content away. 
and I also belong as a gold member, so I get access to a lot of updated, you know, new trending uh, subjects. I'm not quite sure how to explain this one. I'm not looking to use this material because a lot of this is offering just master resale, right? So you're not going to be able to change the content a lot. This I am actually looking at providing some filler for bonuses. Okay. It's so prolific that you are going to find something that's useful and it's so inexpensive that to me it's worth just holding on to it knowing that I'm going to be able to use it to provide some bonuses, some good quality bonus materials. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they have to offer. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the old style website. Um, they, they've had this up forever, um, but that's how long they've been around. Uh, but the quality of the materials that you get are actually really pretty good. Um, now, when I did say a lot of the materials are master resale rights only, not all of it. There is a lot of material in there that you can get private label rights and that you can actually change material around. Personally, I'm not really using it. I use some of the other uh, products and um, vendors that I've recommended for those things. Generally speaking, I personally just hold this as sort of a vault, so to speak. Uh, PLR that I can use as bonus material when I decide to do so. Let's take a look and see here. Say I'm a member, so I have access to all this. We'll go into the vault. And they show you, you know, you can go to their archives and pull the article materials from all these different dates. So depending on what the subject is that you're wanting to cover. Now, once again, they cover, they're prolific. They don't just cover internet marketing they cover other things too so you have to sort of do a little bit of a search uh, let's see modern SEO now if you'll notice at the top it tells you what rights come with these things let's see if they've got any PLR how about this mother that one's just just resale rights resale master resale Okay, well, I don't want to get you dizzy spinning through this thing. See, these are personal use rights only. There you go. Lead Magnets e-course comes with private label rights. Use Lead Magnets private label rights. So there's a little bit of that something there for everybody. Um, I actually already downloaded the SEO one. Let me see if I can find the content. Aha. Now this one was master resale rights. If I recall as a master resale rights holder, you agree to the following. You're granted master resale rights. Resell rights or resell with personal use rights. You may add this product to your paid membership site. You may give away the product as a bonus when people buy through your affiliate link. Uh, you may edit the included opt-in squeeze landing page. You may give away the ebook for lead generation purpose. No, you may not edit the contents of the ebook. No, this product does not include private label rights. You are granted master resell rights only. So once again, always be sure and read your rights before you purchase products. Um, one, so that you don't screw up, do the wrong thing, too, so that you actually buy the product that you actually need for the purpose that you need it. Let's see what their master marketing tools. Take a look at what their report looks like. We'll just open up the guide. So they're just talking about SEO. Now, once again, you've got to read through some of this stuff. See if they're truly updated. You want to read through. Don't ever give something away. Don't ever sell anything that you aren't 100% behind that you wouldn't recommend. But there are times you're going to find nuggets of gold 
especially when you're putting together bonuses and that. Now, once again, I, this is questionable because I have a hard time recommending a lot of this stuff just because I think it's better you create your own bonuses also. <laughs> but that's just me. But it is time consuming. So for the sake of timeliness, if you could put together a nice little little bouquet, so to speak, of quality PLR bonus materials, that's fine. It, it's not going to make or break your business one way or another. All right, we're going to go ahead. And check. I should have actually mentioned that this, for that gold membership, it's $19.99 per month. Okay, so it's not really terrible. But once again, when you're first starting out, you start getting all these different memberships and monthly recurring bills. They do add up. And they'll catch you by surprise if you don't pay attention. So if you're not ready to use this, I wouldn't have it. I can afford to have it, so I just have it sitting there on the side. I don't really necessarily need it, and I probably at some point will drop it. But I felt like I had to at least keep the membership up for, for the purposes of doing these videos. Um, but really, don't sign up for anything with any recurring payments unless you are actually going to use the content, the tools, the resources, whatever it is that you're purchasing. All right. Last but not least, when it comes to PLR membership sites, um, and this is actually a very, very good one, but it can be very costly. So you have to be ready. You need to be ready to use the materials that you're purchasing uh, for it to literally, you know, pay for itself and be cost effective. And it is PLR.me. We're going to jump right into it. Okay, here we are at the website, PLR.me. Now, what's nice about this, one is they do have really well done, put together content, material that pretty beautiful. I mean, it really is nice. Um, but key is you can love the graphics and everything, but the odds are you're going to be changing them. So don't get caught up in that game. <laughs> you're looking at it and look, it's so pretty, but then you're going to change it anyhow. So, because you don't want to put the same thing out that everybody else is. So don't get too caught up in the pretty part. One thing it does provide though, with membership here is it offers a lot of content marketing tools. They have slide decks, coaching email templates, content summarizers, image branders, PDF branders, email formatters, showcases, video sales letter generators. You know, if you're a tools person and you're looking for a one-stop shop kind of thing, they do offer a lot of tools to go along with the products. You look at some of the products, they do cover a lot of different categories. They do offer, like I mentioned earlier, like regarding checklists. Those are always excellent, excellent to get involved in. They do a lot with motivation and inspiration. Let's take a look at business and marketing. Yeah, let's see. Small business survival guide. Okay, and they're showing you here. This, you can purchase these one as. So they'll show you how many credits and how much those would cost you. And that depends on what level you're buying at because you're basically they're asking you to buy credits and they have different plans for those credits so of course the more credits you buy per month the less you're going to pay for each an individual credit yeah they do throw in a lot of pop-ups and so you could be paying anywhere from 760 up to 4180 for this particular product Let's see what you get with this. Let's 
So you get one coaching workshop and slide deck presentation, one checklist, one ebook and a report, and one action guide, coaching handouts and lead magnets. They try and set these up so that you can make live presentations from the material. A lot of this is what they're marketing to you are going to be presentation oriented materials. So this is something I think you want to go through and just experiment, look around for yourself. I could spend all day, you know, going through breaking it down, but really this is something you need to do for yourself. You'll, you'll be able to see the type of content that they're providing. And then let's look real quickly. I know I've taken a lot of your time already, so I don't want to go into it too far. Let me see if we get into pricing here. Okay. Come on. All right, they're trying to justify their prices. Let's see what they're doing. So it depends on whether you're buying for the year, by the month. Somewhere in here they've got the... Here they go. Okay. You can go as low as free, <laughs> which is nice. You get two per month. Now, you don't get access to the tools, but you do get some free materials. So, that would be the best way to check this out. Get on a free plan, double check it, look to see if you like any, anything, everything. If you're even going to truly use a lot of PLR, it would probably be worth doing this. Then there's the pay-as-you-go one time, $22, 10 credits. Now, we saw in that one, you had to have, well, I think, what was it, 19 credits? So you'd be doubling that pretty close. Uh, if you went with a monthly, now you're paying 99 a month. It gives you credits. It gives you a lot of access to a lot of PLR. Um, I mean, look, you can go as high as 990 a year. You know, it, if you're in the PLR business, if that's all you're going to do, you're going to just churn and burn PLR, which once again, I don't think you really want to, stick with me because that's not my thing, um, then it might be worth looking at. Um, it doesn't hurt to do the free plan. Take a look at it and see. Um, if you just want to purchase the occasional thing, I would just, personally, I would just go. I know it costs more per credit, but I would just pay as I go. That's, that's my thing. But it is a membership site. It can be used as a membership site. It is more costly than a lot of the others. That's one reason I, I saved it as the last um, recommendation. But if you're looking for good quality PLR materials and content that can be used in multiple types of products, this is definitely a viable resource. Well, folks, that's a wrap. What you have here are my recommendations for the seven best private label rights resources available to you today. At the end of the day, it is up to you. You need to do your due diligence. Um, once again, I highly recommend you create your own content. Um, it doesn't hurt to use PLR as research. I'm not a real big fan of just putting e-covers on and sending it out. But nevertheless, if you decide you want to do it, PLR, you want to use PLR, do it the right way, please. And these are some great resources. As I said, that is a wrap. If you have any questions or comments, you know, please make them in the comment section below, or you can also reach out to me at Paul at Online Business Pro Solutions. You can also reach me through Skype, PWolf77. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And I wouldn't be opposed to you liking this and giving me a thumbs up. Now, if you are serious about starting a long-term, sustainable and scalable online business, you're tired of swimming in a sea of shiny objects, do yourself a favor, click on the link below that says Online Business Pro Solutions, and you will get access to the action plan that I use, the blueprint for my online business success. Folks, you have a great day, a great week. Take care.